Gibbs have sent me a quad from a manufacturer I've not come across before. This is G10 and it's the Ninja and it's the T905C. So the C denotes camera and as you can see it's carrying a camera there. It's a 720p camera so I look forward to having a go with that. Box is really nice and clean and as you can see good old carry handle. Extremely light actually. Uh, it really feels like there's nothing in the box at all so hopefully with it being light it might be a nice bit of a challenge to fly and a bit of fun I'm hoping. The uh, transmitter looks definitely toy grade and uh, the quad looks pretty slick actually, I quite like it in the blue. So let's have a look inside, see what we actually get. And this one's a little bit different to most, it's uh, moulded plastic um, but the quad's actually sort of forced into it. So as you can see there, as I try and pull it out, it's, um, it's definitely going to deflect the plastic. So it's really well packaged and nothing going to damage that. And there's that transmitter uh, that we had the picture of on the on the back. And there we go, that's everything unpacked. And actually, when I was unboxing it, it didn't seem as though there was an awful lot in there. But I think the reason being is it's fully assembled. Uh, they've even put the prop guards on, and, and I think they're going to work. They're, they're, they're flexible, uh, but they're not going to let you get anywhere near those props, which is good if you're new to flying. Um, you could take them off if you don't want to fly with them. I might well do that later on. Um, certainly, all you have to do is just unscrew that little uh, Phillips uh, screw there, and then I think it will just slide off. And they even provide a little small Phillips screwdriver as per normal that you can do it with. That's going to make the quad look a lot smaller and uh, I think it will look a lot slicker but uh, if you're new to flying these will be good to keep on. The actual quad itself is nice in the blue and it's already got the landing gear on so that's what I mean it is fully assembled ready to go. All you've got to do is charge that battery up. The uh, camera, you can tilt, um, you can choose whatever angle you want to tilt it at. It only moves about, I would imagine, 30, 40 degrees, uh, but it would give you a different, different angle when you're flying around, so that could be quite good fun to play with. Talking about the camera, we get uh, a four gigabyte micro SD card included with it, and then uh, to read it, uh, to put it onto your computer, sorry, you get uh, the micro SD to a USB adapter there, so you can download your images, either images or video, it shoots both. And then onto the actual charger for the battery, and this is an unusual uh, connector, I've not come across this one before, I think it might be unique to uh, G10, and uh, basically, the battery is a 350 milliamp hour and it's a two cell and the charger is uh, 400 milliamp hour and that will either charge on the mains or you could use your computer or you could charge it in the car. They show all these options actually on the box which I was quite impressed with. Uh, the nice thing is that should charge in less than an hour and that's quite good for a quad of this size I think. The other things you might see on the bench, uh, you've got these little cones that go on the top of the actual props uh, themselves and then you can pop them on whether or not you bother, I don't know really, uh, but they're there and you've got eight of those and you've got four spare props as I say. Uh, onto the transmitter, it really is, uh, it really does feel quite plasticky, everything does feel like plastic, I mean the weight of this thing is incredible, I'll just pop it down the bottom there, uh, I think the battery is going to sort of double the weight without any, any effort at all, it is really light, so I'm hoping it'll be quite good fun to fly. The uh, transmitter feels very plastic, very much a toy grade one, and this is totally fake antenna. There's absolutely no wire running through that at all. I had a quick look. And you will need uh, four AA batteries to actually power it up as well. So. Okay, as I usually suggest, get the battery on charge, have a good look through uh, the instruction manual. And this instruction manual is lovely, clearly printed, uh, black on uh, white, and it is superb. It is really well put together. Uh, it explains everything very clearly. Uh, the pullouts are correct, point to the correct things. Uh, explains the LCD fully, uh, really in detail. And I would say this is not been translated from Chinese so we haven't wound up with Chinglish which it can be called we've actually I actually written uh, think this was written in English and it is a really good clear if you're new to flying it explains everything if you're an experienced flyer you can just skip to the bits that you need to know um, and it, it just runs through it all superbly I'm really impressed I've seldom seen a better instruction manual so I'm going to turn the actual quad on there's a little slider switch and then you see the pulsing LEDs go really fast and they go down to a slow pulse and it's ready to go. The, uh, just simply turn on uh, the transmitter and then up and down on the throttle to bind as is with a lot of quads. Uh, transmitter's nice and easy to use. It doesn't have 
auto takeoff. It says it does in the in the manual, but uh, I'm testing out two of these G-Tings, and neither of them has auto takeoff. Auto land works, and that's actually this button here, uh, but auto takeoff doesn't. Easy to arm. You've got two options. You can either pull it down and out, or you can arm and disarm by pulling it down and in. So uh, it's entirely up to you, and either one works every single time. So that's good. And then obviously you take off. It's um, the uh, sticks are centered and it does have altitude hold which is telling you there and it does work really well uh, as you'll see on the flight. These are trim buttons and uh, they're for trimming uh, if it starts to drift around at all and there's loads of videos out there on YouTube on that and then this is actually your camera control so you turn the camera on to video you get a double beep that the video is now running and press it again and it'll stop. If you want to take individual still shots, you just press that, you get a little camera icon come up and then it goes off. To uh, flip, you simply press this one and you get a beep, 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 beep until you decide in what direction you want it to flip in. A forward flip, right or left flip and a backward flip. And if you want to change the rates and it always starts in default rate, you simply press this one here. So it goes into, uh, it's gone into high rates there actually. and. Then it goes back down into low. Oh, sorry, it starts in medium rate. Right? Sorry, this one. And so it starts in medium, and it tells you down the bottom here, medium, high, and low. But the beeps give it away, uh, which is rather good. And it's cyclical, so press it after you're in high rates, and it'll come right down to low rates. And the rates are distinctly different, which is rather good. You've got uh, uh, return to home is this one here. So it'll just keep beeping and keep flashing. And basically she's starting to head home then and we get the little home icon here until you actually you can either move this stick or you can press the button again and if you want headless you simply press this one and then it gives you the little headless um, icon there and then you just get a constant beep with it again and again the leds start flashing again so it's rather good and you can just turn that off but you have to turn that off with the button on that one so no it's a uh, it works really well nice little transmitter it's got altitude hold as well, so there we go. Oops. I think it wants a bit of trim in there. That's better. <laughs> Actually, I didn't uh, calibrate the gyros, uh, so I, perhaps I should have. That's flying nicely now. There we go. Oh, let's start the, the video on it. There we go, so we've got a little icon up here. I'll run through the transmitter as I normally do anyway. So That's nice. Nice gentle flyer. <laughs> yeah, no, it works well. Oh, I like the banked curves. They're nice. <laughs> Very nice. Yeah, those LEDs are not particularly grey, let me just give it up. I think you can see them in the darkness there, but let's bring it around a bit. Yeah, I think you'd soon lose those. Okay, so that's... Actually, the attitude hold does work, it's, it sort of drops as well, which is nice because sometimes they don't. What you have to watch is if you hold the throttles off on a lot of attitude holds, it'll just kill the throttle after a while, so you can see how we go. Well, that's nice, no, it's very good. So that's in low rates. That's in medium. I don't suppose you heard the beep because I suspect the uh, quad was making too much noise. Yeah, that's quite nice, Adam. Oh, it's got a bit of go in it, isn't it? Yeah, and it stops nice as well. That's always a good thing. <laughs> that's not going to look so good on the video, I don't think. <laughs> Whip it out and round. Yeah, no, that's good. Hey, <laughs> yeah, and the attitude hold just gave a little bit of a pulse there, but that was a hard turn for it. If you just leave it, it holds really nicely. I like it. I'm right, impressed. <laughs> Put it up into third rate. Oh, no, it's back into first, I think. Ah, oh, that's third. Oh, yeah, that's getting a move on. Let's do a quick range test. Let's about 50 meters. I can never see. Oh, sorry, I'm looking down for FPV and we haven't got FPV. <laughs> That's way over 50 meters. Well, that was uh, 
Uh, no trouble at all there. Nice, that is really smart actually. Flies ever so well. <laughs> Even when you're being naughty with it. <laughs> Let's see what it does on the flips. Whoa! <laughs> I'm never a big flip fan, I must admit. If we've got a flip, I'd rather do it manually. And you can't do that with altitude hold. Whee! You can see it sort of bob back up to its original height, but uh, I've seen better flippers, to be honest. But um, it's not something I would be doing, but uh, it does it, I suppose. Uh, we've got uh, headless mode, so that's that one. And we get flashing LEDs there, hopefully, you can see. Yeah, they're flashing to take you. And also, we've got a beep constantly on here, so that's good. Yeah, it's definitely headless. <laughs> If that's your thing, and you just press that one again and gets rid of it. And then return to home. Actually, I'll drop the rate down low and then we'll just press that. I don't know where it will go. There we go. So you can cancel that with any movement. So that's it works. I mean, they never, they're more designed if you've sort of lost sight of it, um, which actually, for the first time ever with a dark quad, I think, and this sort of contrasting light in the dark area, you could quite easily lose it because the LEDs aren't great. So if I hit that, yeah, it's beep, 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 and then it's on its way home, nice and slowly. So it keeps doing that until you press the right lever in any direction, so that's good. <laughs> He's a nice little flyer, actually. And the headlet, oh, sorry, the uh, altitude hold works very well, because uh, there's some that don't work particularly well. Well, I like that. Seems pretty good. Let's take it up and take a photograph. Let me just stop it up there, I think. Let's turn the video off. There we go. I just take a still, which I don't... I'm not holding out great guns for that camera, to be honest. It's not, to, not particularly great. There is a bit of a breeze in the garden, that's why it's sort of drifting that way. As you can see, it's still drifting that way even when I turn it, so it's definitely a bruise. I'm going to put the video back on. Just can't remember which one it is there. That one. There we go. And there is a panic mode of, uh, which actually kills the motors. If you hold down, I think it's those two or those two, it'll be one of them. And then let's just give that a quick go, see whether I can get that to work. Well, it's not going to... Yeah, oh wow, that really does kill it. So if you press these two, dead. <laughs> There we go, but she's still fine. But yeah, you've got into a real a real panic with that. I'm not too sure whether it'll auto land actually. No. Doing nothing. Oh, there we go. Oh, auto land does work then. It's auto take off, it doesn't do. Hmm. No. Will not auto take off, but it auto lands, so that's good. And the auto land. I think there's that one. No, it wasn't. <laughs> That's the one. So it's that forward one there that, that ooh, auto lands. Mm, I'd rather land it myself, I think. And with that in mind, let's just see what happens when you do land it yourself, whether it kills the motors and how it does it. I go bring it into land. Yeah, it does kill them. That's good. I'm sure you could probably kill them. There we go. And as far as I can see, I don't think it's any way of taking off the uh, altitude hold. Oh, that's good. That's interesting. Uh, so if you prime it, or arm it, sorry, and then if you just leave it on tick over for a few seconds. Well, it did go off big. Yeah, it does go off. Oh, it's probably what, the best part of 10 seconds, I suppose. Um, but no, that's good. That's quite good that it actually uh, does that as well. So uh, yeah, if you, if you turned it on by mistake, it will go off. That's a nice little flyer, actually. So, what do I think of it? Well, uh, I'm 
quite impressed with it actually. First thing I've done uh, with Jiting, um, and yeah, it's nice. I would say it's a budget uh, a quad, um, but that being said, it's nice that it's fully assembled. Uh, you get it turned up, all ready to go. All you've got to do is charge that battery, and off you go. And you get everything with it. You get the um, SD uh, micro SD card as well, which is rather nice. Prop guards all assembled, and the actual landing gear worked well. I didn't have it fall over once. If it did fall over, all it's going to do is hit the prop guard, so you're not going to suddenly have it kicking off or spinning things uh, which is good so no I'm quite impressed with it. A uh, slight negative um, talking about the quad itself is the battery has this unusual connector it's not one I've come across I'm not saying that they're not out there but um, it's not one I've come across so it might be a little bit difficult to get um, some additional batteries I'm sure they'll soon get, get it sorted or if not you could um, change it for, uh, for a different connector if you wanted to but uh, that would be my only slight negative in the whole thing I would say. Transmitter worked well. Um, it is, does feel sort of uh, budget uh, toy grade plastic, uh, but it worked well. It does actually feel quite good in the hand actually because it's all, as you can see, it's sort of curved off there uh, and it's got the grip uh, on the back there, so which worked really well. And nice and clear, the LCD is nice and clear as well, so when you put the camera on, you know it's on. Um, yeah, no, I'm quite impressed with it. The other slight down thing was the LEDs aren't particularly bright, uh, but okay if you're flying in doors or at night they're, they're good but outside you can hardly see them at all to be honest in, on a bright day. But no, uh, really enjoyed flying it and look forward to seeing some more from this company. Mm -hmm.